Now, the company is contending, of course, with intensifying competition. We heard the company executives talk about that supply chain disruptions. We know the storylines over in China. Even concerns personally about the behavior of Elon Musk. Any signs to you in this report that any of those issues, those challenges might be soon going away? One of the questions that came up on the call, which he didn't ask answer, was about the brand uh, damage. And somebody asked him, and he said, well, I have 127 million Twitter followers, and I must be pretty popular. But that wasn't the question. The question is, because of all the noise associated with him buying Twitter and some of the you know more conservative views that he's espoused, you know, has that made the Tesla brand, uh, you know, less trendy, less cool? Uh, and so I was looking for an answer on that because to me, when you go back to fourth quarter, that was the number one question I was hearing from people, you know, is because of all the Tesla, no, all the Twitter noise, is the Tesla brand not as cool as it once was? And you mentioned competition. There's a lot more competition today than there was, say, two or three years ago. And they didn't really answer the question. And again, I think most investors are giving him a little bit of a buy and saying, okay, well, uh, the demand is still there, obviously, because they cut price and are getting twice as many orders as they're producing. So therefore, everything must be fine. But I'm hopeful that when we get to this March 1st investor meeting, they will show more you know, net promoter scores or brand loyalty. You know, market research always has this type of data and they can trot it out and say, look, here's what proves our brand is just as strong as it's always been.